Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. To view a PowerPoint presentation's content in Print Preview, click the File tab in the ribbon. Then click the Print command at the left side of the Backstage view. The printing options then appear in the section to the right. To the right of the printing options is the Print Preview of the currently selected content. To change the magnification level of the Print Preview on screen, click and drag the Zoom slider in the lower right corner of the Print Preview left or right. Alternatively, to change the magnification level to fit one full page in the preview, click the Zoom to Page button in the lower right corner of the Print Preview. To scroll through the content to print if you are printing multiple pages, click the small left pointing and right pointing arrows towards the bottom left corner of the Print Preview. Alternatively, to preview a specific page by page or slide number, click directly into the Adjacent Number field, Type the page or slide number to show in the Print Preview box, and then press the Enter key on your keyboard. After previewing the presentation's content, you can set any desired print settings in the same area of the Backstage view. In the Print section to the left of the preview, enter the number of copies to print into the Copy Spinner box, or click its adjacent up and down arrows to set the number of copies to print. In the Printer section, use the drop-down to select the name of the printer to which to print the content. If printing slides or notes pages, then in the Settings section, use the first drop-down to select which slides to print. Choices include Print All Slides, Print Selection, Print Current Slide, or Custom Range. Alternatively, if you have sections within a presentation, you can select a section to print from this drop-down too. If you have hidden slides to print, click the Print Hidden Slides command in this drop down menu to mark the command with a check mark and enable their printing. If you select the Custom Range choice, enter the Slide Range or Ranges to Print into the adjacent Slides field. Slide ranges can be sequential, non sequential, or a combination of both. Separate sequential slide ranges with a hyphen and non sequential slide ranges with a comma. If you hold your mouse pointer over the small icon at the right of the Slides field, you can see examples of how to enter custom slide range references in a small screen tip that appears. The next drop-down lets you choose which presentation content to print. To print the slides, the notes page view of the slides, the entire outline view, or one of many slide handout layouts, select your desired choice from this drop-down menu. Depending on your selection, you can also toggle the commands in the next section of this drop-down menu on or off by clicking them to enable or disable them. If a command is enabled, it appears with a check mark next to its name. Unchecked commands are disabled. Grayed out commands are simply unavailable for your selected content choice. The command choices include print slide numbers on handouts, frame slides, scale to fit paper, High Quality, Print Comments, and Print Ink. If printing to a printer capable of physical printing versus electronic PDF printing, then the next drop-down lets you select the printer's double-sided printing option if needed. To set Printing Collation, then use the next drop-down to select either collated or uncollated as desired. Choosing collated when printing multiple copies ensures your page numbers are sequentially printed for each set of copies. To print color, grayscale, or black and white content, select your desired choice from the last drop down. To begin printing after choosing your printing options in PowerPoint, click the large print button at the top of the print section. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.